bike did you have on with this? I think I had a uh, mullet head on this one. Yeah, they're, they're a good bike because you're liable to get anything, but uh, this doesn't seem like a whaler, does it? It's, uh, nah, it's not big enough. No, he's pulling that ro rod over, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, he's, <laughs> he's still pulling. Yeah. Well, uh, don't need to visit the gym tonight now, do you? <laughs> Getting your work out in the middle of the day, because I used to look like that, you know, but I've shrunk over the years. But, uh, hang on. <laughs> Come on, let's see if we can get this in. Yeah, it's another spotty, Lee. from the surf. a mile. That's got to be the best part of 30 pounds. Hey, <laughs> that's lovely. <laughs> well Bigger done. Yours, <laughs> yeah. Marvellous fishing here along the Skellington coast, eh? <laughs> and we've only just started. There's a lot of surf running, but word along the beach has it that bronze whaler sharks are moving close inshore. Otmar has filled our rubby dubby bag with fresh cut chunks of mackerel and mullet. So action looks imminent. Even the local talent's about. Otmar's doing a war dance all over the bag to release those attractive fish oils, blood and juices. It's all about to happen. Hey, go on, go on then. Yeah, hit it, hit it. Well done, Lee, yes! Whoa! Well done. Yeah, Lee's in. <laughs> hey, wasn't that some bite, the way that went over? <laughs> Shall I leave mine in for the moment, uh, Otmar? Let him go out and pass mine first. Yeah? That's going, look at that. <laughs> <laughs> right, off. Come off. Off? Yeah. Oh, I don't believe it. That's the second one we've lost in five minutes. Oh, really? Oi vey, as they say. I think the line might have been. I think the line might have just snapped. OK. He bit the nail on two of his you can see. Lord. Bit through the shop leader. You can feel that, can't you? Yeah, yeah, it's... it's oh, dear. It, if it's a break, it's straight. Yeah. If it's a cut from the teeth, it's like this. Yeah. You can see immediately. <laughs> Bad luck, Lee. Never mind. <laughs> Never mind, they're going to come, they're going to come. Better get tackled up again. <laughs> OK. All right, OK. Well, I'm in some bad luck today. Bad luck today. 50 yards to our right, however, someone else's luck was definitely in, as a local guide slammed the hook home into a big bronzy for his German guests. This weather's on the change, Otmar. Do you think this dull weather's going to move over? I don't... It's heavy to say, but it won't rain. But, uh... <laughs> it will come slowly back. This. Oh, it's a pity, because it's so much nicer with the sun out, isn't it? Yeah, Actually, it's I been a mad half an hour. Otmar lost one, then Lee lost one. They missed me and the German guy over there, he's just got one. It's been a mad 20 minutes, absolutely mad. And uh, any second we're expecting another bite. There must be so many sharks out here. It's uh, one hell of a place, this skeleton coast, it really is. That was a sort of a wave of fish move through, Otmar, didn't it? Yeah. Are we waiting for the next wave to come through? Yeah, hopefully they can. 
Do you think they come through in twos and threes or bigger groups or? Uh, there can be bigger groups, but maybe one or two or three, yeah. but also bigger ones. That's you can't say before. Well, it's certainly expectant stuff. He's having a hell of a job with that fish over there, Aunt Mar, isn't he? It's a nice fish, yeah. Hell of a job. Word had certainly got around there was action on the beach. Being suddenly connected to a sizeable bronze whaler that rips over 200 yards from the reel in next to no time at all is not for the inexperienced. And our shell-suited friends who had never before felt such raw animal power were quickly feeling the strain, initiating a changeover every few minutes. A wise piece of advice from their guide. If you hook them correctly, it will be 80 to 100 kilo. Oh. So you'll be in a good hour flying that in then? Easy. Big... Easy yeah. one hour, yes. And they were too. Their guides soon had them repeatedly walking back up and down the beach in order to recover line, because it's impossible to wind against such incredible talk. Then, following more than an hour of blood, sweat and tears, their prize was finally in the breakers whereupon their guide dashed into the surf to grab the shark by the tail. Looking as though he could do with some help, I wound my bait in and offered another pair of hands. It's always exciting and dangerous stuff, this, hauling an angry shark from its domain, and you have to be particularly careful. <laughs> this thick-set bronzy was equipped with immense jaws and probably weighed close to the 200 pounds mark. Can you make, can you make a few pictures? Okay. Hurry! Okay. <laughs> I don't want to get bitten. Oh, please hurry. Okay. Yes, all right. Okay. One more. <laughs> then it was time for its return into the Atlantic Ocean from whence it came. Always a most memorable and joyous occasion. Were our German friends happy bunnies or what? Now it was our turn. As the strong afternoon sun was setting, and right at the top of the tide, a big bronzy picked up Lee's mackerel head and zoomed off over the reef, screaming line from the reel. For several minutes, it was a case of simply holding on. Just listen to Lee's line stretched like a guitar string whistling in the wind. Then there was a tactical decision to be made. Uh, does he want to go down or not? No, 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 stay, stay, stay. Just watch them guys up there. Uh, he's right down there. But he's, he's... but he's not so far out. He, well, he is. He's 200 yards. Think? Yes. Let's have a look. OK. Mo, you must, you must come. Go over here. Unfortunately, Lee's shark was heading along the shoreline towards Angola and kiting into the breakers. So Otmar asked his Sorry, guiding man. buddy Shane if his two guests could reel in which they were only huh? too pleased to do. Oh. Uh, go up, up, up. Whoa. One taut line touching another up, immediately up. acts like a cheese cutter, which could have resulted in a lost shark for Lee. But with Otmar orchestrating events, everything was under control. These were certainly a few tense minutes, but then Otmar saw Lee's shark in the surf.